birthday, Virgo. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all had a, a lovely weekend and a wonderful birthday weekend for those of you who celebrated. All right, you guys, we're going into September. So if you're new to my channel, please smash that subscribe button. If you want to get a personal reading, go over to my booking site, moonpytarot.com. Um, you can start booking now. I've opened up the month of September. And uh, be mindful, you guys, that some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest, okay? All right, you guys. Hi, everybody in the chat. So let's get started. What do you have here? The dragonfly, as you can see, that just flew right out. So be lighthearted. You're finding something out. Things are coming to light. Adapt, change, and heal. So like a dragonfly, you know, over the weekend, I saw like three or four dragonflies and not anywhere near where there was um, foliage because I was at a pool all weekend and I was like, they were hovering over the pool, over the water. So I don't know if that's a thing that dragon, what do I know about dragonflies? But I just was thinking to myself, that's interesting. And look, here you go. So this is, you know, the month of September, Virgo, be lighthearted. Um, have a little pep in your step. You're going to be finding something out and some things are going to be coming to light to you in um, September that you're going to have to adapt and change to. Um, these don't have to be negative things. They could be positive things. You could be starting something new or doing something new in September um, that might seem a little like um, climbing a mountain. Okay, um, but you may find that this is something that you can do. Try not to like overthink it. Um, you could be finding out that someone has feelings for you. They may reveal these feelings or emotions and there may be some adapting and changing and healing taking place. So let's just get into the rest of the reading and see what other messages you may find out that someone's interested in you as well. Okay. Or some of you might be starting a new job and maybe you're going to find out you're going to get that job that you've been applying for, or you're getting a promotion. Okay. Um, there is a message here though for you to just take it with a grain of salt take it easy don't dive don't do a deep dive into anything all right let's see what else is going on here for september okay we've got the hammer sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent working on it okay so yeah this feels to me with the hammer is all about like putting in the effort and putting in the work okay um, let me see here. Rebuilding. Something's being rebuilt, but there's an interrogation process. Uh, questions. There's questions. Asking questions and being persistent so you can get this information um, so things will be revealed. Okay, you've got the runner. Some of you are just doing a marathon. That's it. You're running a marathon. Um, <clears throat> some of you are just like, what is they just gave me? Um running on empty running on i don't know the words i just heard running on empty i don't know what that means but there could be a relationship with someone or someone's coming so it's runner in a codependent relationship fear of intimacy listening to ego maybe you're running away from something and running into your blessings some of you in september are just like you know what getting out of a codependent relationship um looking at the fear of intimacy issues that I might have um, my ego is telling me well it says listening to ego okay so some of you might be addressing maybe there was some issues that you're looking at with yourself and trying to just work on self and rebuild and um, your ego is like no just stay away from somebody Perhaps there might be someone stay away from somebody. Maybe they're a runner or they, you, you know, they're always like running. They put their sneakers on or their, their workout clothes and they go running. This could be a person that you know, or you might meet somebody if you're out doing a thing or exercising, maybe running on a treadmill or something along those lines. Some of you might be starting an exercise program, rebuilding yourselves, you know, being very repetitive, doing those reps, um, interrogating self, being persistent, you know, looking at how maybe you, maybe you did that before and you sabotaged yourself, you know, 
Um, okay, let's see. I feel a lot of this though feels like you looking at yourself and saying, wait a minute now, I believe, I believe I can fly. You're just like, September looks really good. Now you guys, we're going into Mercury retrograde. So I wanna take a look at this retrograde thing. Now we're in the pre-shadow phase here. So Mercury retrograde, I believe starts, is it? It's next week, sometime next week. So let's take a look and see. Um, and as, so as far as a relationship goes, or, you know, if you had a connection with someone, um, maybe you're finding out this person, finding out why they were always run away or why they had a fear of intimacy or why their ego, they were all up in their ego all the time. Okay. So you've got pay attention to the red flags in September. Okay, and healing some family issues. So there's some signs um, that are cautioning you. Okay, um, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So some of you have some stuff like, okay, what are my red flags? Well, some of you, maybe you were players. Um, maybe you didn't think you were being a player and maybe you're like, oh wait, I might've been. Maybe I've always been, you know, and, and don't take offense. You know, we keep it real here. Um, some of you may never have considered yourself that way, or maybe somebody else thought that you were a player and you're like, I never, I'm not, I don't think I'm a, a player, but you know what? Codependent relationships are very manipulative. So, you know, I'm not making judgments here or harsh judgments on anybody, but I think there might've been some stuff for your, some of you, for yourselves that you're taking a look at. And for others, this could be some kind of red relationship that you were in. Okay that there's a separation right in September and you're freeing yourself from the hope of getting back together but I do feel here so far that um, these things are going to come to light about why somebody runs away from a relationship or why they just run in general okay not maybe not from you in uh, specifically but just you know with all relationships or why you and this person may have had like a constant running away from each other okay let's get dive deeper into this reading i think i'm gonna do let me see i'm gonna do a celtic cross for you start off the month of september okay your birthday month virgo from the time you're listening through september okay past position strength okay wow current position you have six of wands okay this is good this is like right now all the ace of cups okay let's take a look and see let's take a look and see so the past position is strength you might have connected with a leo in the past or maybe you're on the cusp of leo and virgo okay so in the past i feel like it, it took a lot of courage for you to do something okay maybe a decision you made um, overcame some self-doubt in the past could have just been yesterday for some of you um, anytime from now back okay um, taming the wild beast within the self taking control self-discipline and con self-control is what I see here in the past over um, yourself over your life over you know whatever was going on in your life maybe um, for some of you this is like you made a decision recently to take up, <laughs> they just said take up arms, um, to take your power back, okay? Um, becoming brave. <clears throat> now let's see what else. I want to get a clarifying card for this, okay? Yeah, you had some plans, definitely, okay? Had some solid beginnings, setting some goals. So you've recently, or in the past at some point, set some goals, developed a plan, Okay, laid down a foundation for something, took, an, took, took advantage, some opportunities might have come to you and you took advantage of those opportunities and um, because there was excellent prospects about what you were trying to attain, whatever this goal you're trying to achieve and then getting the courage and the strength <clears throat> or just talking yourself into doing this thing thing whatever this thing is okay in in career finance love maybe ending a relationship starting one um your health 
fitness, anything like that, eating better, making huge positive changes. That's how I feel. Okay. And the present energy for the month of September overall is the six of wands. So this is success. This is victory. Okay. Um, this is winning you. I see you being in the advantage position here. This is home field advantage for you, whatever you're trying to achieve. I see you being triumphant and successful. And I also see you receiving recognition. Okay. Maybe some fame or a feeling of celebrity, having some fans, well-wishers, a lot of supporters around you, some crowds. Okay. Maybe even you might be doing something where there's people who support you. You're, you're being noticed in September. Okay. And, and love ace of cups, new love is coming in because of this new beginnings, new relationships, new romance, new love, happiness, joy, conception, even fertility, pregnancy, celebration, some socializing. Okay. It's, it's a benefit. This is the benefit. So, you know, it's, you're, you're taking on, or you made a decision, decision in the past to take something on, Okay, you're going to be successful and the benefits you're going to reap here is this Ace of Cups energy. So this is amazing. So whatever you've put into plan um, or thinking about putting into plan, you will be successful at this because you're a Virgo, number one. No matter where you have Virgo in your chart, Virgos are very ordered and they make plans. Virgos are always making plans and they see their plans through. So whichever position or whatever you're trying to accomplish here, or some of you, are, like I said, you're in separation at this time and you freed yourself or you're freeing yourself fully in September to focus on self. And this is really good. Okay. This is really, really good information to get here. Okay. So justice is here. This feels like things are going to be turning out in your favor. And I'm also hearing karmic justice, um, karmic law, what comes around goes around, cause and effect, life lessons. So definitely learning some things here, Libra and energy. I feel like there's consequences, okay, to whatever this situation is, but I don't feel like they're yours. They might be somebody else's. And this feels to me like you're flying on your own here. Whatever you're doing here, like that dragonfly, okay? Things are coming to light. I'm hearing, okay, King of Swords just fell out here. So there could be an, I almost said Aries, uh, Gemini, um, <laughs> <laughs> Libra again, Aquarius for some of you. Okay. This karmic justice, and it doesn't have to be that sign. They could have it anywhere in their chart, but this is someone who's very routine, very intelligent, rational. Okay. Um, conversationalist, nothing. They're very cool, detached and very cool. Okay. They're, they come through as with integrity, ethics, morals, they might be a bit stern and maybe even at times critical. Okay. Maybe they were illogical or irrational, but I feel like the karma is coming to this person. Okay. Male or female energy, you know, cause I see, you, I see you just blooming here. You're doing well. You're doing, 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 doing very well. So what's driving the reading? Yeah, you've got patience. Look at that. Eight of Pentacles. So you're working on self. You really are. Look at you. New job, self-employment. This is what's got you heading. Building, you're building. Your reputation, uh, quality work, consistency, hard work, commitment. Okay. This is an interesting reading. I'm, what's, okay, what's crowning? The devil is here. Okay. You know what, whatever you're doing here in your life in September, <clears throat> whatever is going on, there was this mindset. I feel like you're trying to break out of powerlessness or hopelessness. Um, 
maybe there was something um, breaking out of dependency. Remember I said that earlier. Some of you were like, okay, I might have been a little too obsessed over something that wasn't going to be in my favor and I couldn't let it go because I just, the more things weren't working out for me, the more I wanted it. Instead of just saying, you know what? Maybe it's just not for me. Maybe I need to like turn that compass dial and try to find a different path towards things that are healthy for me, things that are good for me, because I feel like some of you have it in your head that there may have been, um, maybe there was addictions or some, there was some mental health issues or secrecy or things. If this, there were secrets, um, then that might have made some of you more inclined to try to solve the puzzle of whatever these secret, secrets are. Okay, you are definitely, I see you coming to terms in September with things that were like, kept you bound. And you're like, mm -mm, I see it now. No, that's not good for me. That's not healthy. And, and that's the, the mindset here. Yep, look at you. Here you are, Queen of Pentacles. It's like you're taking a cold, hard look in September at what it is that you were dealing with with whomever you're in separation with from okay seeing those red flags there healing whatever family issues if you're married to this person or if this person triggered some old wounds in you and it just kept going and going okay so listen good for you this is like this this is this dark work okay and and listen there's never an end <laughs> Healing out that dark energy, you know, it's a daily thing. It's a daily grind if you've got a tendency towards, I mean, everybody does to some degree. We all have our Achilles heel and things that just trip us up. And those are the things that we have to come overcome. None of us are perfect, right? So I see you definitely taking a cold, hard look at self and like, where are the areas of my life that I'm weak? in September and where are the areas that I need to get stronger that I need to strengthen whether that's on the physical plane mental emotional you know spiritual whatever you're beginning to take on this element of or this energy I should say of operating out of your strengths rather than your weaknesses because your weaknesses Virgo I feel like are what kept you you, you were keeping yourself down because of your weaknesses, right? But like you can't know what your weaknesses are unless you address them. You got to take a, a cold, hard look and say, okay, you know, I mean, that's just the way it works. So you're analyzing and doing a little bit of analytical, you know, you're very mature, okay? Very generous and loyal. Maybe some of you might are, be taking a look at... Maybe some of you might say, you know what, I was way too independent and I need to like soften up a little and let someone in. For others, maybe you were feeling or you're taking a look at September saying, whoa, I'm way too generous and loyal to people who don't deserve that. Okay. I only do, I only, I owe that to myself and nobody else. Okay. Um, so there's just like a lot of stuff. Maybe some of you spent too much time being a social butterfly and too concerned about your social status and said, you know what, let me go in, let me retreat. You're saying that to yourself, some of you. Let me retreat and go take a look at these things and build my life in private. Try to figure out what I'm doing and get myself together. So it's a very good energy. But in the meantime, you know, I see you like up on that pedestal, either someone else or other people are putting you on a pedestal or you're doing it for yourself. You're like, you know what? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I don't need someone to validate my existence. I, I exist because I'm worthy. And um, maybe saying that to yourselves at this point, again, let me take a look at this king of swords, male or female energy, because there's karma coming to this person. Oh, wow. Okay. The chariot. Wow. Okay. So what's going on with this person here, right? This person's coming in to try to like um, reconnect with you in September. Maybe even a birthday celebration or something if you have a birthday in September or a delayed belated kind of thing going on. So yeah, this you've got somebody here who's like, it feels like they got a real kick in the ass 
um, the things that maybe they did to you um, are now they're feeling the effects. It's like backfiring. You, you put on your Wonder Woman wristlets and you're like, eh, eh, I'm rubber, you're glue. And I feel like this person, okay, we have Cancer Energy as well. Um, Taurus, I feel like this, there's somebody here who's coming in, definitely. <laughs> okay, now we have the King of Cups. So you could be connecting with the King of Cups or King of Swords. Cancer Scorpio Pisces as well. Um, there's could be two people, male or female. These are two people who are like oh, kicking themselves. Okay, definitely wanting to come in and, and have some kind of a reunion with you. Um, wow, okay. Surprise birthday, party, wedding. Um, they feel, this per these, these people, or the, it could be this one person, they feel like um, you're home, you're family to them. Okay, you're it for them. Okay, so... But Virgo's like, well, you know, I'm doing me now. So I'm like, I mean, if you want to talk, I'll talk to you. But I'm going to be breadcrumbing you because I'm really like focused on self. I, don't, I just don't have, I don't have enough to give. I can only give a little, you know, to both of you. <laughs> or to both sides of your slimy cheating ass. So I feel like. Virgo's like, um, you know what, I, I'm gonna, I'll give you a little of this, and I'll give you a little of that, but I'm keeping the rest for myself, right, because I've been giving and giving and giving, and it's just kind of like, you know, y'all are charity cases to me now, right, because um, look who's standing up on top here, my life is balanced, I got my scales there, and that's karma, that's what that karmic justice is here, and it feels like two people, Okay, that look at the scales. Now you're the one. You're in the position here now, Virgo, where you're giving out the karmic justice. <laughs> There's no vengeance. It's just that, you know, you'll break off because Virgo, you're always going to be true and you're always going to be helpful and you're always going to be like loving and generous towards people that because that's your nature and don't ever change that. But, <coughs> excuse me, I think it's like, you can't give everything you can't you have an entire loaf of bread you give that whole loaf of bread you know what do you have for yourself unless you have a way to replenish yourself then it's fine i mean when you got millions and millions of dollars it's fine to give some away if, if you've got a, a more of it coming in you know but virgo you got to ask yourself how much do i have to give okay and, and if i have a source to replenish then yeah, I'll share it with you. But it feels to me like when it comes to these two people, it feels like two people or it could be one person. You're like, and for some of you, it's not even that you don't want to give. Um, if, if you've got somebody or two people here turning, turning like, uh, obviously turning the wheel back around, like doing a U-turn coming back your way. It might just be for some of you, you know, I just don't have the energy or the time or the resources to invest in something anymore. I've given so much. Right. Okay. <laughs> I feel like Virgo, this is your advice here. Be kind, right? There's, you know, or kill him with kindness. Do whatever you got to do. But this is an energy of like kindness. Okay. But staying in a position of an authority. Now, external to you is the wheel of fortune. Okay. <clears throat> Change and karma. And this is related to whoever's over here. King of Cups, King of Swords. Could be any sign. Um, one's coming in as a truth teller. One's coming in as, an emo as having emotional intelligence. Okay. Um, calm, caring, friendly, sympathetic type of energy family oriented generous and quite devoted all right let me see here oh, damn you know what i was i was thinking of this card when i was holding up um that six of the heck did i have that six of uh six of pentacles i can't talk it must be the covid um and i was thinking about this because when I was looking at this card, I was thinking to myself, it's too bad that dude don't have a, a 
a bloody stump going on there you know like are you like maybe they do look at them maybe they lost both their legs i don't know what's going on if you're new to my channel uh, it's just stick around you'll understand it soon but here you go right here busted up leg so one or two people uh, they're doing a u-turn back to your place okay either they're driving over or they're flying over or they're uh, walking over on crutches or whatever it is that they're coming in like I am willing to limp for you for the rest of my life do you have a choice to make you might you might okay but you know what all at the rest of September here towards the end very positive energy Virgo I feel like you're being more transparent with yourself and not being afraid to just speak your truth about who you are what you believe in what you want okay being open being very enthusiastic i feel like you just got yourself in a really good place so what is this coming to light here what is this energy finding out now that you're doing your own thing and you're like making yourself no number one priority and yet you're still going to be kind and generous but you're not giving everything um now you've got these suitors or people are paying attention you're going to be in the limelight in september for sure especially and as we say, with that Mercury retro retrograde, people coming back, turning around and, and coming back with those, you know, broke, busted and disgusted. OK, they don't like being left out in the cold because you're going to leave either one or two people or more out in the cold because and it's by default. It's because I don't see you like placing someone on the back burner on purpose. I just see you putting yourself on the front burner. And then by default, everyone just kind of goes to the back burner. And it, it just means like, if someone is not investing or not capable to invest, it, you're going to, you know, mirror and match that energy. That's all because you know your value and your worth. Okay, now we got the King of Pentacles showing up here. So all signs are showing up virgo taurus capricorn cancer scorpio pisces gemini libra aquarius and we'll see if that um king of wands shows up that'll be very interesting so what are you wishing and hoping for obviously you know that happily ever after here some of you want to get married some of you want to have children some of you want to um you know oh, what's the word they're giving me like um have just that long-term partnership, live together, stability, security, that long-term relationship and just, you know, just, or be partners or be, um, you know, legally partnered together, whatever it is, family, it, like that's what's very important to you. So that's what you're hoping for. That's what you want. You don't want anything less than that. Uh, you, you know, everybody's got baggage. Um, everybody's got some red flags here and there, but those big, bright red, red, neon red flags are the ones that some of you are separating from someone or you're in separation, freeing yourself so you can take a look at that stuff and also take a look at your, do you have red flags? You go into a new relationship. If you accept new, are you ready? And I feel like a lot of you are preparing yourselves to be ready for that. So um, I want to give you some birth dates. Um, so I'm picking up September 8th, September 2nd, 14th, the 19th, September 15th, okay? September 11th. Now, these could be birth dates. It could also be very important dates in... Um, September where there's going to be some like finding out and um, for some of you what I feel like you're going to be finding out is that you've got some people who are making their way back towards you okay so let me just tell you this the air sign is getting their karma okay um, they're getting their karma they're feeling some consequences for for some decisions there's cause and effect there's something that might have happened um the water sign the water sign wants to come together with you okay um have success or is, wants a reunion with you or is coming home okay now the earth sign oh there's the aries we had the taurus and we had the leo 
So the earth sign, hmm, just bought a new car. <laughs> I'm hearing September 7th as well, and also September 4th. So the earth sign is overcoming some obstacles here, is very determined, very focused on you, or is, will be focusing on you in um, September, and definitely I feel like coming your way, traveling. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up that fire sign energy. Definitely a reunion here. Socializing, wants to get together. You know, um, with friends or do something with friends, okay, to connect. But it's like a social event. It's not a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing. So whatever it might be, some kind of gathering of some sort. Yeah, so it feels like you have all signs. So let me see what the outcome is here for you. Okay, you've got temperance in the high priestess. <laughs> Look, are you can't be kidding me with this. Now here's the king of wands. Yeah, you've got all, all the air. I mean, not the air. All this, all the, um, all the elements, all the signs. So, hmm, let me see. Wow, Virgo. Virgo, I just kind of feel like you're... What the heck was that? I just feel like you're done with the past. You take one look back, <laughs> and you remain a mystery. You're at peace. You got nothing here that you want to fight for. Um, I, You know what? I just feel like for you... You're looking back and you're just like, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm good. I don't I don't need to return. I don't need to look. I don't drive forward while looking in the rear view most of the time. You know? I kind of feel like that's your energy here. Because I feel like if you know, a lot of you are just in this position, like if you if you couldn't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. So you're you're kind of in this like go F yourself energy, <laughs> you know, Virgo, you know, you've got new love and that's what you're walking towards, you know, having new communication and new beginnings with others. Okay. This is like good news. This is like, uh, you'll be getting texts, you'll be getting phone calls or somebody reaching out to you. I feel like, and they're going to say, yeah, I'm a friend of a friend. And they, you know, uh, it's like an introduction for some of you. Um, this is just being full of energy and being very positive. I, I feel like you just get this new thing for yourself where you just feel so good about yourself. And the response to whatever success you're having in September is not only bringing in new love, it's bringing all the past lovers. It could have been all four or, two, or three or two or one, whichever, you know, and, and it's just like you're in such a good place and, but you're kind of like, you know, I don't need everybody. Like, I don't know. It's, it's like you just fall in love with self. You don't play yourself. You're not playing anybody. You're just like, I don't know. It's like, uh, the page of wands feels like a very flirtatious energy. And I feel like a lot of you are like, I am not. Some of you have just turned a new leaf here with the world. You know, like the lesson, the lesson has been learned. Like you've, you're achieving, you've achieved, or you'll achieve success in September. I'm hearing the 21st. And I feel like, like it's complete. It's over you're fulfilled you have a sense of belonging you know who you are you're whole okay because there might have been some codependency going on in a connection where you heal from the codependency you do okay and you become like this light and airy dragonfly energy you know yep the, the betrayal's over endings defeat like you hit rock bottom you collapsed, you broke down, and you rebuilt yourself, okay, or somebody put a curse on you, whatever, it, it just, it, like, you're, some of you, you know, you got the vid, and you were just like, man, that tore me up, <laughs> some of you, uh, recently, 
okay but whatever there was some kind of like your back was broken like you've hit rock bottom like never before and you're never going back to that okay unless they're coming in with the bloody stumps and i do feel like you've got some people here coming in with the bloody stumps or at least one person that's making that change yep here we go yep this person's on like their deathbed not legit i mean maybe they're ill but there's a major transition but i don't I, for some of you it might be too late i feel like this is going to be unexpected person or persons it's just i feel like you're going to be in this place where you know what you know i'm not committing to anybody i'm just going to flirt and have friends and you know whoever's crushing on me let them i'm just going to enjoy my life and do the things that i like to do i'm not giving away any of my secrets you know, I'm keeping calm and I'm keeping balanced and I'm not giving out all this extra information to people. You know, um, I don't know, Virgo. I feel like you've got some, it's all about you in September and it is Virgo season. So why wouldn't it be? And it's your birthday season. So, you know, you're blown. If nobody's going, you know, light candles on a cake for you, you'll put your own candles on that cake and blow that out. Celebrate yourself as you should as you should virgo let me take a look here and see what your moonology message is okay it's time to take action there you are look at you you're like doing it i don't know what you got planned or what you've been working on but you're seeing it through virgo and virgos always see stuff through luck is on your side so this is like having wind in your sails virgo i feel like new moon in sagittarius new moon in aries Okay, hard work is paying off. So I'm telling you, Virgo, stay focused. Trust the process. Don't give up on your goals. Step out of your comfort zone. Okay, do what needs to be do. Uh, do what needs to be done for self. Your commitment will be tested. Whatever you're working on in your life, understand that as soon as you start doing well, the devil comes in and wants to try and poke at you and pull you down. You got to recognize when that's happening. Okay, you don't have to make any decisions about any people, places, or things yet. You just get your plans and you start working towards your goal or your goals and your plans and whatever it is that you're trying to do. Conclusions are within reach. You're going to get to where you need to be and you have a lot of support and recognition and applause behind you. I mean, I feel like you're you're going to be amazed september is just going to be amazed and because of the mercury retrograde that's the time when we go in and we reevaluate everything for ourselves so i see you doing that so you've taken a look like i said at those weaknesses and like all right i need to make these weaknesses stronger because my strengths are good so let's take a look at your moon pie messages here okay stand your ground in september stand your ground don't give in i don't i don't know who needs to hear that message don't give it all away virgo don't give it all away you give it all away and you give it all away and then you get nothing left for yourself and then people listen virgo people will try you your your dog is gonna try you your children will try you your grandchildren your family your colleagues at work people are going to constantly try you and you can't get upset because people are generally out for themselves and if they're trying you and it's it's like you know you gotta look at people and say don't test my patience you know you gotta turn it around and say you're not trying nothing with me okay i'm not playing games i got self here this is life see toxicity okay people are going to try and like get you back into that toxic energy well as soon as you try getting out of that because this is what happens when you're in a toxic situation or relationship or at work or in with family the minute you start getting better there's going to be some people who are going to turn around and say man you're inspiring how do i do what you do and then there's going to be other people who are toxic and they got to look at themselves you're getting better and they're like oh my god oh my god and they're not going to want to look at themselves and be inspired and they're going to try and like hold on to your legs as you're flying up in the air you know so yeah you got to stand your ground virgo whatever you're trying to accomplish in your life here i see you're going to have a lot of support and you're going to be recognized for this not just by like i said um 
it, by everybody, not just by the new, but also by the past and the old. Okay, and people will pay attention because it's, it's, you're going to show your energy is different. There's, there's a different energy about you and this person is seeing it. Okay, they're, somehow they're paying attention. I don't know. Okay, bossy male. That's a fire sign. Male or female energy actually is just someone in their masculine energy. Um, for some of you, it could be someone who's, um, like I said, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, this person. Um, hmm, they might want to try to keep that toxic energy going, okay? Um, the retrograde is a time of deep struggle for a, le a lot of people, you know, because things start popping up and then we get tested, our patients, we, even the little things, we lose our key, our phone stops working. You know, those little, little like pieces of sand stuck in your shoe or in your bathing suit. You know, it's not a big giant pile of sand, it's those little things. Okay, those are those little tests, right? All right, let me take a look here and get another message for you. Actually, you know what, let's get into finish out with your signs and your dates I don't even really need to do the signs because I feel like all the signs are here I wish I could pinpoint it for you but if you know who your person is that's great how about this let's see who's coming in for you what sign new person not old All right, so you've got a new Pisces, new Sagittarius, new Gemini, and a new Aries. All right, so hold on a sec. Okay, so I'm getting September 20th. Um, someone's born in 1979. Okay, somebody is July 11th, December 8th, I'm hearing. Oh, November 11th. Okay, we've got September 10th and the 12th. I don't, if I said these before, it's just a double message for you. Um, hmm, some, somebody's uh, August 24th. Okay. Okay, somebody is 41 years of age we have october 12th as well um and i'm hearing 312 i'm also hearing 512 910 and 241 okay all right, I'm also getting um, May 18th, something between May 18th and May 4th time period. Okay, we're getting also, for those of you, um, again, with that Leo Virgo cusp stuff going on, that, that seems to be very prominent. Or maybe the person you were with was a cusp or is a cusper, or you may meet somebody new who's also born on a cusp. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have a crab. Interesting. So this kind of makes me feel like, all right, maybe you just had crabs or you like crabs or somebody likes to eat crab legs um, or there's a cancer energy surrounding here. You know what? Okay. Um, they're giving me the birth date, July 8th. Okay. Maybe you're going to have crabs or you're somewhere near the sea walking on the beach somewhere where there's crabs. Okay. And I'm also getting here. You've got like a glitter kitty. This is a very bougie kitty. Okay. Somebody might be buying a very expensive cat or has a very expensive cat or has a cat that has like a diamond type of necklace around its collar, not a necklace, a collar of some sort. I just heard the name Goldie, Goldie, and you have a star here, and it's got a saying, 
Um, I can't see it because I'm blind as a bat. Let me see. Oh, it says... Wait. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. I need like a magnifying glass or something. It's so tiny. Oh, it says just for you. Oh, so Virgo, that feels like um, a wish here. If you've made a wish, if you made a wish on your birthday or you're going to make a wish, make sure you think hard and long about this wish because I feel like this wish will be just for you. It will be for you. You will receive some type of a wish. Um, this feels like birthday candle wish kind of energy <laughs> here. It's very, like, very strong there. Um, I don't usually look at a star and get, like, a wish from that, but I just felt... I, I didn't feel it. Well, I did feel it, but I also saw like, um, I saw, um, somebody blowing out their birthday candles and it's, it's a cake with a lot of candles. It's not just one and it may not even match an age. I don't know. Somebody decorates a cake and they put like oodles and oodles of candles on the cake. I mean, this cake is on fire and it's like, it's like something you see in a movie it's, I don't know if that's something you do or somebody's going to do that or you know someone who puts birthday candles on cakes and they put like, if you're like, I don't know, 37, they put like 87. <laughs> they just put like a ton of candles on this cake. Maybe it's going to be a really big cake. If you're blowing out a cake or, or if you are, are blowing out of candles on a cake, but if you are not doing that on your birthday, okay, um, Virgo, I want you to like just get yourself... I don't know, a vegan cupcake if you have to or whatever, and put a candle in that and sing to yourself, happy birthday, and blow a candle out for yourself and make a wish for yourself, okay? Manifest those wishes and dreams because I feel like it's the wishes are going to come true just for you, these things that you want, you know, and, and the whole thing about like, you can manifest love, you can't manifest a person, because you're not God, and you can't make a person, you can't make anybody do anything. But you can manifest love. And the way you manifest love into your life is by loving self. And I'm not talking about egotistical self, I'm talking about loving that source within you that's taking care of you. By default, that's loving self. Okay. And um, we're not talking about narcissistic looking in the mirror and getting your lashes on and, you know, pumping up those biceps and sit and that, that aesthetic thing. I'm talking about the source, the light that's within you love that light because that's nourishing and warming your soul. So love that. And that's you loving yourself. All right. So anyway, I'm going to leave that there for you and I will do my best to be here. You know, we're coming to the end of the summer now and also, I'm preparing for the readings that I'm going to be doing. And here in the U.S., we're coming up on the holiday. So um, I'm going to try my best to get back every single day. But you guys, lately, um, I've been like getting myself prepared for this squat challenge thing that I'm doing at the gym with a friend of mine. And um, I'm kind of like really dedicated. You know, it's a Virgo thing. You know how it goes. We get our minds... We, we have like, um, we get to be in our bonnet about something. I know I do. And then I get tunnel vision. Like I get the blinders on and <laughs> I'm just like, everybody just leave me alone. I'm doing something. <laughs> so um, I'm not leaving you. I'm just very focused on some of my own personal goals here throughout the rest of um, the year. But um, yeah, I'll probably be back here tomorrow, if not the day after. So thank you very much for watching and being here again. And Listen, you guys, if you want to get a personal reading, remember, you can go to my website, moonpytarot.com. The link is below the video to book a reading with me. And um, yeah, glad that we were able to get up to um, 48, 50 minutes with this reading. So good night, everybody in the chat. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.